good evening. Tonight I'm just going to figure out a couple more trig ratios or values for trig ratios. And let's start with tangent of pi over 3. I'm going to ma be making use of these um, special triangles. Of course, I could just plug this into the calculator and figure out the value, but it's really good if we can figure it out without the calculator. So let's get started. Um, pi over 3 is 60 degrees. Um, and we can be using this special triangle here to figure out the value of pi over 3. If we have an, an angle that's n greater than 90 degrees, we probably want to find the reference angle. But we're going to see this in that exercise, actually. For this one, we're, gonna, we're not going to need it. Tangent of pi over 3. So 60 degrees, um, we're, gonna, we're looking for tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. The opposite to 60 degrees is root 3. The adjacent side is 1. So tangent pi over 3 is just going to be root 3 over 1, which is equivalent to just root 3. That's it. OK, now what about sine of 5 pi over 6? First, we're going to have to figure out that it's 5 pi over 6 is on the second quadrant. And um, I'm going to convert it to degrees first, just to show you guys. And I'm going to convert it to degrees by actually replacing 180 degrees for pi. And that's going to give us 150 degrees. Easy, right? 5 times 180 divided by 6. 150 degrees, of course, is between 90 and 180. So it's somewhere around here. And this would be angle theta, 5 pi over 6. Now, we need the reference angle. And how can we find the reference angle? Since it's on the second quadrant, we can actually just subtract it from 180. So 180 degrees minus 150. 30 degrees is the reference angle. And what does that tell us? Tell us? What does that tell us? I thought I said something incorrect, grammatically speaking. Anyways. So we're looking for sine of 5 pi over 6. Because that's on the second quadrant, it's going to remain positive because all students take calculus. That means that sine on the second quadrant is positive. So sine of 5 pi over 6 is actually just going to be equivalent to the sine of 30 degrees. If it was on the third quadrant, because on the third quadrant sine is negative, it would be negative sine 30 degrees. But in this case, in the second quadrant, so sine 30 is equivalent to sine of pi, pi, pi over 6. So sine of 30 degrees, we can look at this triangle. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So it's just equivalent to half. Hopefully that made good sense. If not, please check out more videos at this website right here. And Sorry I'm whispering, but people are sleeping right now. Other people are sleeping right now in this part of the world. So um, hope you have a good evening or a good day. And um, thank you for watching.